Hello everybody and welcome to day 13 of the Trailblazer Reloaded League. In the last video, I spent most of my time trying to get some upgrades for my off-combat styles. I got a Staff of the Dead, I got some Primordial Boots, it was pretty productive. And I also went to raids where I managed to get a Dexterous Prayer Scroll, which is huge for my build. And today, I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. Technically, it is still day 12. Uh, I'm recording this right after recording the outro of the last video, so I still need to go and edit. I am chopping some teaks for some woodcutting experience and some logs to make into planks if I want to do some construction. So I'm just going to keep chopping while I edit and come up with a plan for today. All right, 1,000 teak logs cut, one video edited, uh, but I am going to go do some raids. My friend's off work, and we want to try and push some higher invocation raids. So far, the highest we've done is a 180, and we'd like to try and go up to 300 today. We'll see how it goes, but yeah, that's the goal. We're going to try and push things up one step at a time, starting with a 220, which is already 40 invocations higher than we've done. Uh, but I don't anticipate it being an issue, because we're kind of steamrolling these raids. Oh my goodness, just look at the Staff of Light. I'm no longer an embarrassment. All right, well, that was really easy. 220 invo raid, 17 minutes. We can definitely go higher. And a purple. Ooh, purple. It's mine. Okay, sure. Honestly, not, I mean, not the best, but it's... It's pretty cool. I mean, I would have rather the chest or the legs, but I will be using it. So nice. Cool. And because I already have all my armadillo, I can chisel one of these to get an armadillion plate. And then I believe I just have to use that to fortify. I need a hammer. Let's try that again. I can use that to fortify that. Just hammer nothing. Uh, cool. Fortified Missouri mask. Nice. Well, that's a good way to start the day. One out of three on Missouri, 220 invocation raid. I couldn't ask for any more. All right, we're bumping it up to a 240 this time. Ah, I forgot to record, but there is the 240 done. Uh, we did it faster than the 220, so uh, yeah, no purple, unfortunately. All right, here we go. We decided we're just going to send the 300. First expert mode. Uh, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is going great. We actually had to restart the last raid, and we tried again. This one's going a lot better, so hopefully this is the kill. There it is. First expert raid done. 300 invocation. Easy purple. Ooh. And it's his. Unlucky. Good to know that we can do 300s pretty easily, as that's going to help our unique chance, so we're going right back in. And another 300 completed. Very nice. Uh, I'm feeling a Missouri body. It's a purple. It's his. Literally anything but a fang here. I mean, he has some other items, but a fang dupe just feels so bad. He's got four of them already. Nice. We were going to stop there, but you can't not go for the back to back to back. Hey, Tomb Speedrunner 2, let's go. 1731 expert mode. And a purple? No. All right, well. I think while my friends aren't around to do raids with me, I'm going to work on some skilling and some league tasks. It's hard for me to motivate myself to actually go and do league tasks after tier 8, but I would like to see how far I can push. Uh, I would like to at least get to rune, maybe even dragon. So I'm going to work on a few tasks here and there that I can go and do that are easy and worth a lot of points. And first thing I want to do, there are a bunch of fight cave related tasks that I want to do, including just doing it a bunch of times. So I'm just going to start doing that while I'm here. And there's one to tank a hit from Jad, which I feel a lot more comfortable doing now that I have Undying Retribution. Ouchie. 
But there is that fight caves, no pet on there, but of course I'm gonna do the gamble. Sad. Uh, but I did complete the hard combat diaries, which is even more points and experience. And there is the hard combat diary done. I get a lamp that I am putting in agility. 240k agility experience. Thank you. There are a bunch of points I can get just from increasing my base level. So I'm going to start working on some of my lower skills. Starting with construction, which I need to go and make a bunch of planks. So thank you, banker's note. I'm going to be doing mahogany homes. I don't know if it's entirely necessary, but I don't really mind mahogany homes. And considering I only have two cities unlocked... Uh, that I can actually get contracts in. It should be pretty easy for me. Alright, so last night I kind of spaced out and just did a bunch of contracts and then went to bed. And it is now the next morning and I am going to spend my points. Uh, there is a task to wear the full carpenter's outfit, so I'm going to buy that first. And then there is also a task for the saw and the plank sack, neither of which I have the points for. So I will have to come back for that. But there is 200 points, as well as another 200 points for 200 collection log slots, which I did not anticipate. So thank you, 400 points, let's go. Last night I had a realization that there are a lot of skills that I still need to train if I do want to max, or even get any of the base level tasks done. Uh, and one of them specifically is mining, uh, which does actually help in TOA for the mining room. So I'm going to go and do a little bit of motherload mine. There are some tasks there. I'll get my mining level up. It'll be great. Hopefully, maybe. Now, I know there's some funky stuff with the golden nuggets at motherload mine on leagues where there is a hard cap to the amount of nuggets you can get. Uh, per uh, search of the sack, but I don't know if it's based on putting the ore in the hopper or if it's based on taking it out of the sack. But I believe if I deposit all of this, if I were to just go and search it, my nuggets would be hard capped at a certain number. So instead, I think you're supposed to take out like most of an inventory of something. And then when you search it, each time you search it, the cap like refreshes. I don't really know how this works. I need to do some research. I'm just going to do a little bit of experimenting myself. Uh, but yeah, there's some weird stuff here and I need to figure out how it works. Okay, so according to Google and Reddit, uh, it is definitely when you deposit the ore that it happens. So I believe what I need to do is like drop most of an inventory, maybe half, and then deposit and then pick it up and then deposit the rest, uh, which is kind of annoying. But if I want the most nuggets per hour, that's what I got to do. So I will try that next time. And so I think if I just drop a bunch of these, I'm going to drop, say, that many and then deposit and then pick these up and then deposit these, then when I go and do the search, I should have a chance at getting more than three in the inventory. Maybe, I don't know, but I'm trying to figure this all out, so give me a sec. Okay, it does work like that, cool. So I did three full inventories, depositing seven at a time, and I wanna see how many golden nuggets I get from this. 15, interesting. I don't know what I expected, but I, I don't know. This is all so weird. All right, this one was three full inventories, 14 at a time, and we'll see if I get more or less than 15. Okay, right around the same. I think you can do half an inventory at a time, and that's okay. So my suggestion for you, if you are doing motherload mine on leagues, just drop half your inventory, deposit it in the hopper, pick up the other half, and then deposit that. Uh, that's the best way I've found to get around the gold nugget cap, and it's super easy. And yeah, it doesn't take too much extra time. So th th there you go. The only motherload mine related tasks are to equip a full set of prospectors, a golden prospector piece, and then a full golden prospector outfit. So I'm going to be buying these one at a time as I get enough nuggets, and then I can use them while I mine for extra experience. So yeah, there's the jacket. And I have enough for the prospector legs. I didn't really know how long I was going to be here, but at this point, I might as well just finish the full Prospector outfit. I've already bought the two most expensive pieces, so it shouldn't take me too long. I am currently 75 mining, and I've sort of set myself a mini goal of trying to get base 80s in this video. I don't know if that's going to be possible. That's a lot of fishing and hunter, but might as well try. So I've been toying with the idea of maxing on leagues, like I mentioned, and I actually maxed on the last league in the Shattered Relics League. And I was sort of, one of the reasons that I decided to pick Asgarnia, although it was a relatively small reason, was if I do decide to max, then I can actually buy the max cape. Uh, but after thinking about it for a while, I'm not so sure if I'm going to go through with it. 
Maxing on Shattered Relics League was a lot different because you had access to not only everywhere in the game and therefore all of the best skilling methods, but you also had access to all of the relics and you could just cycle between the ones that were relevant at the time. Uh, so it made all of the skills fairly good to train versus this league, the relics really determined what's easy and what isn't. So obviously, for an example, uh, Farmer's Fortune, I got 50 million farming XP in like less than a day. That was extremely easy. But I have no relics that boost mining, fishing, woodcutting, thieving, agility, hunter. There's so many skills that I just have no real extra good way to train. Obviously, I still have the 16 times experience, but I'm not really sure if I'm going to go through with it yet. My objectives with my decisions in this leagues was to try and learn content that I wasn't super comfortable with. So, for example, TOA, Chambers, etc. Uh, but I'm not really sure. My side goal was always to try and max, was to try and get Dragon Rank, etc. Not really sure how far I'm going to go with either of those yet. Depends what you guys think. If you want to let me know in the comments what you think I should do, uh, or if you don't care and you're just going to keep watching the videos anyway, which, if that's the case, I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, for now, I think I'm going to go for base 80s, and then I might do a little bit more rating in the end of this video. And there should be enough to buy the helmet. And there should be enough for the prospector's boots, completing the prospector outfit. Unfortunately, it's only 80 points, but we'll take it. Uh, I am 78 mining, so just going to keep going for another two levels. I figured it'd be faster to just go and mine some iron instead, so there we go. 80 mining, very nice. And I don't know what I want to do next. Probably fishing. For my fishing training, I'm going to be killing Temporos uh, by myself, but not doing the point method because of Production Prodigy. I get to cook all the fish at once, which I think will let me just blast through kills, uh, which will be nice for the kill count tasks as well as for XP. So I'm going to see how this goes first, though. Oh, I wasn't recording, but there is 70 fishing and base 70s because of it. Very cool. I'm pretty much doing the same method I was doing when I was firefighting for points on the main game, except just a lot faster. I cook the whole inventory at a time, and I get extra fish when I cook them, and I'm not actually putting out the fires. I'm just doing the same method of putting in 17, getting him low enough so he doesn't do any mechanics, and then putting in 19 each time so that when he comes back up, he's also low enough, and there's 71 fishing, uh, and then I just kill him every time. So, it's pretty good. The XP per hour is very fast. Uh, I'm getting 1.2 mil XP an hour right now uh, on leagues, so that's 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 pretty good. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to try and go to 80. And I don't know why, but I just have a feeling that I'm going to get something cool in these 27 permits, so I'm going to do them right now. Hey, let's go! 80 points for a fish barrel. Okay, well, I was right in the sense that I got something kind of cool. It wasn't the most useful thing. But I think I got three dupes of it. Uh, you get 25 spear or twenty-five soaked pages when you get a dupe of an item you already have. And I got the fish barrel, and then 25, and then another 25. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Well, 80 fishing is going to have to wait for a little bit. My friend's ready to go and raid, and I'm kind of bored of skilling for today, so I'm going to go and do some raids. Maybe we'll come back to it before the end of the video. We're going to do a warm-up raid, another 300. That's what we've been doing recently. And then I think we're going to try and bump it up to a 500 by adding one of the League's invocations. It just adds 200 raid invocation level, uh, but it doesn't add any more mechanics. So essentially, it's just as easy just with higher health and higher stats and higher damage. So should be doable, I would think, but going to warm up with a 300 or two. Whoa, perfection of Scarabus. I don't know how we got that. And there we go, first 300 of the day. Scam. I got time for one more raid right now, so we're just going to keep it at a 300, and we'll push the 500 later. And another 300 in the books. 18 minutes, not so bad. And I'm feeling a purple. What the heck, man? So that's going to be the last raid for now. I'm going back to Temporos for a little bit, but we'll be back there soon enough.
A 2100 total, 200 points for that. Thank you. Oh, and there is 80 fishing. Very nice. That's going to be enough Temporos for me, but I got 66 permits, so let's see what we get. Hoping for, like, a harpoon would be cool. Well, that wasn't exactly the harpoon that I was looking for, but we did get the big harpoon fish. Completely useless, but it's worth 40 points, so sure, we'll take it. Well, as I said, I was trying to get base 80s in this video, and the only skill I have left is Hunter, but I don't think I'm going to quite have time for that, unfortunately. So I'm just going to do this birdhouse run, and then we're probably going to wrap up the video, and we will do the huntering in the next video. And we're going to end this video off by getting an evil chicken piece. Never mind. And yeah, I'm going to wrap the video up here. Same thing as last time. I'm going to go and edit and AFK and cut some trees. Uh, I'm going to cut some magic trees this time simply because I'm here already and it's convenient. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to go and leave the video a like as that's the best way to help it with the YouTube algorithm. And maybe leave me a comment while you're down there and let me know what you think of my plan to maybe try and max on leagues. And other than that, that's going to be it for me. I will see you guys tomorrow. And a big thank you to all of my channel members, but a special thank you to my tier 3 Big Spoon channel members, Alchemist BTW, Jack Stalmer, Zach Martin, Luxitaire, Tony Adkins, and Dolph. Thank you guys, and thank you everyone on screen here for the support.